Hi everyone, it's Big City Boy Chano here. Sorry. The internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of the new Rusty album, Green Language. This is the sophomore full-length LP of Bleh. Glasgow electronic music producer, Rusty. I first came across his music a handful of years ago through the album Glass Swords. It dropped via Warped Records. And I thought this record was just maybe a tad one-dimensional, but still easily one of the most bright, glistening, fun, bubbly, and good mood-inducing electronic music albums that I had heard in a while. Very punchy rhythms, tangy synth melodies, as well as very sunny synth timbres. Stylistically, there were fusions of UK bass, an experimental, wonky hip-hop production, a little bit of trap. It's nice to hear an artist who's so early on in their career sort of has a very distinct sound. So I was looking forward to this new Rusty record. However, even though it may not seem this way to other listeners, Rusty fans, I think this new Rusty album is an incredible disappointment. The most surprising change of pace on this new LP is this influx of vocal guests that Rusty brings to the table. Now I understand Rusty is not the most diverse producer in the world, it's something he may be conscious of, and I was hoping he would bring some changes, bring some experiments on this new LP of his, but I did not really assume or think that vocal guests would be what bring Rusty's new album diversity. Especially since a lot of these vocal guests in my opinion, take away from the record more than they add, not only in terms of their performances, because there are no prodigies or diamonds in the rough on the track list here, but many of the vocal guests on this LP have a reputation that is nowhere near as large as Rusty's. There's the song Up Down, which features vocals from D Double E. He sounds like a rapper from Rusty's Neck of the Woods. There's some very sharp 808 esque snare drums on this track, some banging bass, and some grating synths that just play very slowly and mundanely in the background. Rusty does not really attempt to create some of the bright, sunny melodies that made his last full-length LP so good. And the lyrics from DEE, the vocal delivery, is just really obnoxious and kind of repetitive. Stylistically, I think the song is a little different for Rusty, too. It's kind of like this weird, electro trap fusion it sounds more like rusty is trying to get himself on the bill of the next big edm festival versus crafting a legitimately interesting song there's the song danny brown is featured on attack it's a banging beat but let's be honest here lyrically and uh, flow wise too this is a pretty average verse for danny there's the song lost with red in ho I'm sorry, but this track just sounds kind of like a talk box, auto-tune, bon Iver, chromio nightmare. Not only that, but the vocal mixing and the vocal effects are a lot like the synths and some of the snares, very grating on the ears. There are some questionable mixing and EQing issues all over this record. Rookie mistakes. Songs like Tempest have synthesizers that sound like nails on chalk. And vocally, I don't know who is appearing on the song Dream On, but this track is just yet another sort of generic vocalist melody and song, just Rusty is bringing this sort of sunny, bright synthesizer window dressing to the table to sort of bring it into his trademark style. As far as the deeper cuts on this project goes, there aren't really any meaty songs. The first two tracks feel like intro tracks. The song Workship is kind of like a very spacey, ethereal, one oh tricks point never style synthesizer scape that just lasts two minutes. And with the track A Glimpse, it's sort of like this bubbling series of synthesizer sequences, which are very pretty, but doesn't really go anywhere. And then at the very end of the song, we're getting this pummeling rhythm, some downstroke guitars, but then the song just ends immediately. It's like it was going to go into this Anamanaguchi style instrumental, but it just stops. Because of how badly Rusty cuts off and structures some of these shorter, more instrumental tracks, they just kind of feel like unfinished filler. It's like Rusty is providing a series of interludes in an album that's barely got momentum. Like, I don't need to take a break from the lack of good songs, I just need you to give me a good song. The song Raptor, another big single from this LP, it's not bad, it's got some EDM style rhythms, very driving, very heavy, some cycling thick walls of synthesizer. It kind of sounds like Dead Mouse and Fuck Buttons rushing through a collaboration they were forced 
to do at gunpoint. Then the song Velcro, one of the few outright decent tracks on the entire LP. Really funky lead synth melody. I love the rhythms of this track. It's got a really sunny, upbeat feel. Stylistically, sonically, I think this song is the closest to what fans would enjoy and expect from Rusty. But given that the mixing and the effects and the layers on this record are nowhere near as good, this song, in comparison with tunes on Glass Sword, sounds kind of flat and dry, colorless. Overall, I was not into this record. I was not into this record at all. There were a few songs that I liked, but mostly I dislike the tracks on this LP, and I don't think I love not a single song here. The sound and the mixing and the EQing a lot of the time is sort of out of whack. The structures of these tracks are less multifaceted, less complex, less exciting and challenging. There are tons of filler tracks in this song list, or songs that really aren't that long or don't make that much of a commitment to a sound or a structure or a progression or much of anything. And on top of all of it, there are some really unentertaining guests in this track list too. I'm feeling a strong two to a light three on this thing. Tran, ugh. If you've given this album a listen, what did you sweat it? Did you sweat it? Did you sweat it? Why? And what should I sweat next? Anthony Fantano, Rusty, Green language, sweat, sweat.